Good afternoon everyone, it's Rachel here and I am going to work in this journal. So I just want to show you what I've done. I did do a little bit off camera just to get myself moving. This was the other day and um, I think, I, I don't know if I did that with you, I think I did. Um, I added this piece of Florentine paper and I've made a tuck there. I may or may not embellish it. We can look at all of that stuff afterwards. Here on this envelope, which was one of the last things I had to do, I added just a piece of um, paper that I backed with some vintage paper. So I was just going to put this on. So this could actually be ripped off if, if it was annoying. Um, but then I made it. I just thought, oh, I'll just slide that in there like that. So it stays like that. And then I just put a little bit of... Um, that there and a little bit of washi and it's very um clashy and a bit eclectic i think it doesn't it's not so, not stuff that you would normally put together and then on the back i had a just had this piece left over i think it was from my wallpaper pack um i put a piece of uh this paper here and just this book belongs to i just really like the look of that together with the linen sort of thing and now I'm just working on the front because then I remembered I hadn't done the front. And I've just tore this out of one of my collage sheets. I might try in this video, I'll go um, down, I'll go through it and link all of the kits that I use because I normally do that and I didn't do it in this video. I became lazy in this um, project. So I think I'm going to glue that there and I might put a label there. And I think that might be just it for this part and then I've got to do the flappy bit um, I just did those other bits that I just showed you off camera just to get us moving along because you still got to you know feel everything and um, put it into the cover that I've got for it so um, there's still a bit to do so I just thought we should get get cracking so I'm gonna put that there I just think that's really pretty I just like it with the linen and then I want to grab some sort of, I think I might grab one of my antique sort of labels. Let's have a look. That's not big enough. I want a bigger one. Not that big. Next size down. Oh, don't have them. But that one's nice. Too much the same colour. That's why I'm rejecting that. Let's see here. Quite like that one. Let's just cut that out. We'll audition other ones. Where's my basket? Somehow it made itself over onto my stitching table. I don't know how it got over there, but it's made its way over there. So how is everyone today? I hope you're well. Um, all is well here, you know, just the status quo. Uh, just the same old weather. It's been like this for about Oh gosh, I would say a month at least. And I do like that one. Um, yep, no change. Just same old, same old. Still warm, still in our summer. T-shirts. Okay, or I could have something like this. Now that one might be a little bit big. I think I like the original choice. I do. I think I like the original choice. So I'm going to put that one on there. Because I like the blue. The blue is different to the other colours that are going on. And sort of there's blue up there. That's what I'm telling myself anyway. So we'll put this on. And do I need a bit of washi or... You know what else we could have? And where has that gone? I haven't pulled this out for a while. Where is it? has to be here yes um i'm wondering oh there i've got some of those that left i thought i'd used it all i wanted to see what of my faux sheet i would like something blue of course of course i would I don't mind that it's not big enough there's some blue there's always something blue in here there's those painted ones. That's with the oh hoo hoo. That's with the paint. That shouldn't be in there. That's a 
piece of paper. Got that piece of, that's on the transparent label paper. I quite like that. There we go, here's a bigger piece. Oh, look at those. There are a few bits left. I probably need to do some more. There's some more. Okay. Now I could put that, something like that up there. just flip this down so that's what it's going to look like and I'm just thinking I'd like a little something like that there so I think I'd use this one or oh, I could have used that one it was about the right size doesn't matter and I'm just going to stick it's very sticky stuff it was just with double-sided tape on tracing paper okay and then here what am I going to put on here so this um, I'm going to leave this envelope as a loader like that I'm not going to cover it and then trim because that way when it's down it's you know whatever's in there is safe um, and I may just leave that like that I could put a piece of that there but let's just see what I feel like doing most of these things are too big, except for the butterflies. The butterflies could be good. No, that's not really doing it for me. I don't want to cover the airmail. No, that's not it. We could just have another sort of label so it could be labeled not the same label different one oh, that one oh that one that's it i'm going to put that there I'm going to put that there. I think I want to keep it fairly simple. Because look at all the layers that are going on there. There's a lot going on. Uh, I think I'll just put that there. In the, you know, the complex of it all, it's there's a lot happening. So I'm going to glue this on. And it's turned out to be a chunky monkey. And I'm going to cover the airmail because I don't think that really goes with the style of journal. As doesn't that, but that doesn't matter. I'm not going to put any more. The only thing I might put is just this faux aged tape. Oh, oh, I don't think I could. It will work, but I could have put a stamp on. A stamp would have been good. Oh, well, I put it. it there like there's been some sort of repair I do have some stamps here I want a stamp yeah or not but a bigger stamp I've only got green ones of these here Making it very green. Put it crookedly. Put it on crooked. Like that. That one. Okay, so then I also need to uh, do this here. So that wasn't done before. 
just in case I was covering that, and I love that. Now we could, do I want to do that? Let's just try a, some sort of thing. What have I got sitting here on my table? No, not that. Oh, here they are. I've got my whale tails here, already punched ones. Just see if we might like one of these. Oh, I think. Let's just have a look. Got a lot in here. Some were gifted to me and some I punched. That one could be that way, that one could be that way. be blending in too much. Book page. That's it. I knew there had to be one in there that was right. go so let's just have a look and then I've got to start thinking what am I going to put in there so this flips up I can slide something in there got a big pocket in here for something and then I have a pocket there out and has a tuck so lots of spaces where I need to put things in it just pulls out pocket there pockets there and there and there as well this one opens and then there's a tuck there Uh, that's got a pocket there and a pocket there. That's already clipped on. Pocket. It just pulls out. Little pocket there. Big pocket in that one and then that pulls out. That's a pocket. pocket oh let's put something on here no maybe I'll leave it for now there's a pocket there it's kind of hard to see that pocket and then this is a pocket here and there and then there and that is going to go in here Gonna be good. Cool. Okay. So I guess I can slowly start filling it. I do have some made things up here. Let's just. Okay. I've got to put my basket over here. I'll put it down there. I'm feeling hot, so I'm gonna take my light jumper off. 
Okay, I've got washi tapes there. I'll put this on. Whoops, I'm going to drop it. This is my box of tags. But some of it is stuff that, I, as I've told you before, I don't um, put it in things because I need to remake them. And I can't, so I can't put them in until I've remade them. And it can be a long time before I remake something. Now, I need a very large, wide journal card. What is this? I oh, see. I need to remake that. I love that. I need to remake it. So simple. But look inside. Isn't that a lovely journaling spot? How would that fit something like that fair in here? It would be perfect because it could stick out. You could put even put it in that way, but then it might get swallowed up. So I could make something like that to go in there. And let's see here. I think I might put this little postcard in here. And I think I'll put some real ephemera. Where's my ephemera box? I do need to share about share my real stuff. I got a lot of it. Oh and I love this. Isn't that gorgeous? Put that in there. So um, this is for Donna, Donna S. Now Donna, if you don't want to see what goes in, uh, probably best not to watch the, the videos from now on and so you get a surprise. Maybe I'll clip those together. Oh, and I might just put it, just for fun, I might just, oh, here's my, here they are. I might just, I'm a bit tired today, so I'm a bit all over the place, so I apologise for that. I'm also going to put a little stamp there. I might even just put that there. These are all things that can be used. I'm going to clip them together. Just being careful, because that's really fragile, old notebook paper. And then I'm going to have, that can just slide there maybe we'll put it in that way cute oh isn't that cute oh i sound like my dear lovely leslie except i don't have the accent leslie i wish i had that accent that i love that i call it the magnolia what is it still magnolia's accent why now why won't you go in there that's just crazy oh is it too big oh it's too big what a goose what a, a goose. So because it's fragile, what I'll do is I will, didn't even think about that, I'm just going to fold that in there. There we go. Now it will fit. I will slide that in and I'm very excited about that. Good start. Good start. Keep those near because they're useful things those now i want to make one of those now i need to find to make one of those i need to find oh i don't think i need to look very far here we go i just need it's a glue piece of paper i don't know why that's there here's a piece oh it's got all that but that does that matter could decorate that side yes we'll use this let's just I'm going to tear off the raggedy edge I know well it's just that when I fold it it's not going to fit or should I keep the raggedy edge maybe and take off that edge if I take off I have to take off a bit more I could just fold it in I'm going to fold it I don't want to I don't want to rip anything off so I'm going to fold that in quite a way because it needs to slide in there without crashing into things. And then I'm going to have this on the outside. So I'm just going to fold that over like the other one. 
like so and that is going to fold up and before I do anything else I'm going to check that it will fit in my pocket Wait. Oh, yes, it will fit. Okay, so I'm going to put an image on here. So I'm just going to do it like this one. I'm sure we did these together. So I'm going to grab an image. Now, I've got images in here, I know. I put lots of images in here. So hopefully I've got one that I feel is a nice size for this piece. Oh, I have one like that. It's a different one. I, oh, that's perfect. I love it. Okay, I'm going to glue that one on. It was like it was meant to be. It was just meant to be. Oh, I guess we're revisiting an old idea. I need to make more. So what I do is I'm not going to feel everything on camera. Because I want, if Donna can't resist watching, I want her to get a bit of a surprise. So I will need to... Um, do a bit of camera unless Donna tells me not to it's not quite the same on camera anyway as to when you when you receive it I'm just going to put a bit of this on here it'll probably blend right in which is fine my fingers are sticky look sticking to me Oh, heavens to Betsy's. Okay. And I'm not going to put a label on this one. I'm going to just put a little piece of maybe Florentine paper. Now, in my Florentine, it keeps looking at me. It's creeping me out. I have the most hideous postcard. I'm going to show it to you guys. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, I thought her eyes were white. She kept creeping me out. It's, it's, um, who is it? Oh, it doesn't tell me. It's in the Galleria San, San Luca Santa Cecilia. Oh, maybe it's Saint Santa Cecilia. Oh, it is. It's Santa Cecilia. Well, oh, she's creeping me out. So she keeps looking at me. I'm going to just put her at the back because she's she yes yeah, she doesn't look like she's alive she's probably not she's probably been martyred and that when you know that when they become saints they be they're martyred and i think that's probably what's happened and of course the artists would you know depend that the whatever church that was there it was their patron saint they would commission the painting you know for the church now i'm well, I don't want to cover it. I love this. This is going to be good. But it has actually been doing that since we were in the other, other house renting while we were renovating here. It's been there. It keeps looking at me. If anybody would like that postcard of Santa Lucia, no, Santa Cecilia, um, looking not alive, um, let me know if you order something. I, you'll have to remind me when you order something um, that you want it, and I'll slip it in your parcel if I remember. Please don't scream at me if I forget because it's highly likely. So that's that. Then when I flip it over, did I do anything on the back? I'm just going to put something like that, but I don't have any of that printed. I need to print some more. So I'm going to use just a scrap. Oh. I'm loving this paper. That This is Sharon's fault. It's all your fault, Sharon, that I like this paper, this lace, because I saw you use it, and I went to the graphics fairy, and I thought, oh, I was printing up things, and I thought, oh, I'm going to print that up, because Sharon used it, and I loved it. So that's going to go here. It's like all, the, all our ideas go round in circles, don't they? We all sort of share and, and borrow and be inspired by. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to put that on there. It's a very grungy piece of paper. It's very old. I don't think I've got the front cover of that. Anyway, it's 1800. 18, I think this is 18. It could be 1860s. It could be 1870s. That's the back page. Lovely paper. Really nice. So I'm going to snip the corner. Oh, well, it's folded. It doesn't matter. I'm going to snip the corners anyway. And that one's kind of ripped. And so that's that. And do I want to put some... Oh, I want to put something inside just a little bit to re... You know, I'm going to put um, possibly just a random piece of... Do you know what? I've got this... I was going to make that. I'll do something with that. That was a piece of rag paper. But I wanted something. There's some more. Oh, there's like all kinds of goodies in here. Look at this. It's full of stuff. Full of good stuff. Oh. Oh, there's an envelope. <laughs> Lovely piece of old... You know what? I can put things in here because it's folded up. Where's the fold there? Is it going to crash? They're crashing. What a shame. This is from 1700s, this piece. I'm going to put it in for you, Donna, because I don't want it to be poking out because otherwise it won't fit in my pocket. But I'm kind of using this like a faux envelope. Um, which is, you know, funny because we did an envelope. It's an envelope journal. Now, is that sticking down? Not very well, that little corner. I mean, it depends on what you like. Like, um, lovely Leslie from Willow House Journal, uh, 507 Willow House Journal. She um, she likes her, kern her kerners. <laughs> Can you tell I'm tired? She likes her corners to curl up. She likes the look. So we're all different. And this was a, um, I'll tell you about that in a second. Yeah, we're all different. So if you like the corners curling up, um, then by all means, I'll let them curl up. I'm a bit more, like I'm not perfect. I don't do perfect crafting, but I do become, no, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to put that in there. I do become a little bit more, like I want it to be glued down. I don't know why. It's weird because I'm not really precise. I don't like measuring and that sort of stuff. Okay, so I've got this in here. This piece of paper, this is printed on newsprint. This is a little, I don't I don't have it in a kit or anything like that. But um, what I did was, it's a piece of paper that I have. I have it here somewhere. I'll find it one day and show you. It's a piece of rag paper, actually. Um, and it was in like a pile of documents that I got. And these are all the folds. So it was folded like this. It's only a little teeny tiny piece of paper too. It's this size. I think I printed it out actual size. So it folded in, how did I fold it? Like that. Like, it's a bit like origami, isn't it? If it folded like that, then like, I don't know, it's something weird. Like that, like that. In this little thing, just like that. That was the little letter. <laughs> And so I just refolded this along all the creases. You can see all the creases in it. Actually, in the scanned image, you can see all the creases. You can see them better there. So I'll put that in there. That's a bit of fun. That's not the original, but it is a bit of fun. That All the rest is original. So we'll put that in. Let's fold this up. Probably not going to like it. I didn't normally have a fold on the original one, but I do on this one just because I didn't want to take any bits off. And just for a bit of fun, even though I don't really need to, I think what I might do um, is, things in my way, just put them out of the way, is I might just grab a bit of string. This is my favourite colour, jute string. I like doing this. Just hold it on one side. Wrap it round twice. I'm not going to pull it tight because this paper is fragile and I don't want it to tear. I'm just going to tie a bow. And that's just going to hold this cute thing shut. I mean, it's nothing. It's really just pieces of paper, honestly. But they're nice old pieces of paper. So that's that. And that's the other. Oh, I could have done it that way. 
Should I do it that way? I like it that way. Let's have a look. Sorry, guys. Let's just have a look at the other way. I've now all folded crooked. Is that a surprise? I don't think so. I'll just keep putting in crooked <laughs> creases into it. Okay, let's try again. Let's see on this side. Yes, let's have it on this side. Around twice. Oh, I could stick a... You know what I could stick is a stamp, but I've only got... I need to go and get some of my other stamps. I keep using the same ones. For some reason, I've got a pile of them in here. I think I... Steffi was putting them in the um, hundreds piece packs, which I've, I'm out of at the moment. I need to redo them. And they're quite laborious to do, I'll tell you that. Um... But um, yes, yeah, Steph was doing them, and I, I was, I was like, oh, I have to keep some, so I just grabbed them because he would, he doesn't let me keep things. I'm not allowed to keep things, okay, because I have too many things. I think I liked it more on the other side, but anyway, Donna, you can decide which way. I'm not going to sit here and fuss all day about it. You decide which way you would like it. Now, I think I can. Well, I'll put it in that way so that have it. You can have it peekabooing out, or. I think it should fit in that way. I think I'll put it in that way. Yeah, in it goes. It's going in the, it can just come out a little bit like that. Oh, it looks like a spider's legs. Oh, no, I don't like the spider leg look. So let's just stick it all in there. In you go. Bye-bye. Go on. No spider legs coming out. Thank you. Okay, so that's in there. That's cute in there. And then going to put something in here maybe I'll fill that pocket off camera and I'll just show you um, doing the the more fun thing sort of things um, now here let's see what I've oh I made this isn't that pretty that's just a piece of vintage book page it needs to sit under a book it's gone all curly whirly but isn't that just just the pretty paper I've been making all these sorts of things um, so I just want to see what I don't I probably need to make more big things see this one I've been hoarding and it's like three elements honestly is that not ridiculous like I need to remake it and then I won't hoard it anymore I probably need to make it and put one in my hoardy book oh now what was this this is pretty it's not quite and I need something taller now, what was... Oh, I love, that, I love that church. I don't know where that was. Oh, that's really cool. It's just a journaling spot. Very pretty. Okay. I don't remember things, you know. I don't... I make the stuff and I don't remember what I've got. Uh, let me see. Oh, I love that. See, that's hoard, hoardy as well, but I love that. That's going to go in there. I'm not going to... I need to remember that. And, you, I mean, you would think, oh, well, you can go back and watch your videos. Well, we're not allowed to do that. But I could watch from Lulu's thing. But um, I sort of um, don't tend to do that. Now, where's where's my ephemera gone? Here. Let's find something. But what about a piece of Florentine paper? I've got plenty of that. There's more where that came from. So I could just grab a lovely piece. Yeah. And just fold it. Again, I'll just fold it the trifold way, so it looks a bit like a um, looks a bit like a envelope, but it's not. And I just slide that in there behind, and it can glitter, shine behind the postcard, not the post, what it, the the journal card. And in here, you could put a little bit of lace or string. I haven't done that, just so I don't bulk up. Isn't that lovely? I love that image. That's that's a sketch for a painting. I think that's wonderful. Here we didn't have anything. Um, I probably skipped something. Doesn't matter. I'm not showing Donna everything. Now, one thing I might do is I'll probably let's just get something that we can clip there. Now, I did have. I think I've got them over here in the wrong box. I've got some of these that we did that were inspired by. Um, Rose Hill Paper Cottage, I think. Really cute to put things in. So um, I've got a few things made here. So I could put that in there. No, maybe we'll put something taller in there. No, yes, no. 
Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. Oh, look at these, look at these. Aren't they cute? Put one of those in. Um, I'm gonna grab just, let's see what I've got here, some tags and things. We'll put this one in that pocket there. Oh, I could have put that one in. Let's put that one in. Oh, no, let's put that one there and this one in the back. Yeah, cute. And we'll put that one there. And that'll do. And then I could... So you can do it in two ways. You could tie some string around, which is really pretty. I love that around the bottom and it holds it all in place. I think I'm gonna do that. But what I might, oh, I don't wanna tie a knot, do I? Because otherwise I might be able to get it undone. So, I always like two, two or three wraps. I think on these ones I like twice. And then of course, I mean, these bits are all meant to be used so you could, um, you know, and then the string, the jute string you can use in the top of the tags and things like that. And look how automatically, without even thinking, just went off centre on purpose. So I'm going to clip that. Yeah, I'll clip it on this side, I think. It's too much fun to be had. Too much fun. And that's just going to go there. It's very lumpy, so you'll have to take it out if you want to write anything. Here, I'll do that one off camera. I'll do it, yeah. I'll turn it, that can go off camera. Now, that one will go off camera. This one will put something in here. Now, I do have things. There are things that I need to remake, as I told you. This is one of them. I absolutely love that, and I need to remake it before I'll part with it. I won't part with it until I've made it, unfortunately. I love these. I have got quite a few of these. I love that one. Actually, this one will be lovely in this journal, but I need to fill it. So these were these are the actual promissory notes um, that I had. I don't. I'm not selling them in packs anymore because um, I have some left, but not a huge amount. So they, you know, I become precious about things, and then I won't sell them anymore. It's the same with the documents. Once I start to become feeling like, oh, 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 you know, my stash has gone down below a level that I'm comfortable with then I'll stop selling them for a bit till I get more so that's good that's an actual piece of ledger I actually think that one's in English I think um I think lovely Pam sent me that um I'm just going to put a little bit of music paper in there we'll just put some random things in to play with and then down here I'd like some things to play with let's go back to the ephemera box because there's some really cute things in this little bag that I had lost. I went bananas trying to find it. And now I found it again. Here's a bit of blue. I like the different. I love these um, antiqued. I'll show you in a sec. These antiqued sort of blues and things. I don't know what these are. They kind of make my eyes go crazy. They were in a bundle of stuff. I, I can't bring myself to throw them out. But they're really not me. Actually, they can go in, in the bundle with Santa Lucia because I don't know what to do with them. I don't know what they are. I guess you could use them as seals sort of thing. Um, I might regret that, but that can go with Santa Lucia. Whoever asks for the Santa Lucia, the first in, first serve. But on, I'll only send it if, you know with your next physical item purchase. So that way I can sort of mail them together, if you know what I mean, which is fair enough, I think. So I'm going to put those in there. And I might just grab, just for a bit of colour, just one of my images here and slide that in to be used for something. Let's see what I've got. Oh gosh, I love that. That's like one of my favourites and I've hardly even used it. I absolutely love that. So that can be, and I just think it's pretty. And I'm going to put it behind because otherwise it'll take over. But how about that? Cool. That's just a fun little thing. And I think I'm going to know that. See that? That's a scanned receipt thing. That's original. That's just going to blend in too much. We need to find a new home after all of that. For that one, it has to go somewhere else. It can't go there. Here's a beautiful old. No, it's not real. I will put a real old letter in there, Donna. 
but you won't see now. This is just a beautiful old, um, it's on, what do you call it? It's on, oh, see, I love that. I need to make that again. Um, aren't I ridiculous? How about that? It's on uh, newsprint. I'll put those in there. Okay, so I think I'll stop for now because I do start to get tired and um, and I've started to feel, look how it sees how it starts to bulk up. Oh no, I'm not going to stop. Just one second. I told a, a, a porcupine, excuse my expression, um, because I just want to find a home for this. So this could actually, but I want to kind of see it. I could slide it in there very nicely. I could slide it in there very nicely. It could actually, oh, you know what I like? I'm going to slide it in there and have that flap overhanging there. There we go, found a home. Still have to do that. But as I said, not everything is going to be shown on camera because I need Donna to have a bit of a surprise. So there we go. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you for the next instalment. We'll fill a few more pockets and then I'll be done with this one. And the rest will be a surprise. And, um, and then... Uh, we will continue on with the other one that needs to be done. And I need to create also a um, cover for it as well. So that'll be interesting. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.